Good morning and thank you for joining us on today's breakfast show. All right, so thank you so much for uh, staying with us on the breakfast show for today. Well, uh, just barely four months to the 2023 general elections and Nigerians are calling for issue-based conversation. Well, to join us on this particular discussion is a member of the 2023 uh, Presidential Debates and Media Committee. And uh, us, um, Stephen, you want to do justice to introduce our program? Yes, we have Aliyu Oiza Joerat, a member of the 2023 Presidential Debate Media Committee. Welcome to the breakfast show this morning. Thank you, sir. So, what, what, what is this committee all about? Tell us a little bit about it. Actually, <clears throat> the committee, we have various um, stages of committee who are on their tools to see that um, we get great Nigeria is what we have been dreaming for. So, we have various committees who are on their tools mm. to see that, yes, this is achieved. How? through this debate the presidential debate all right so um, the focus is the presidential debate and um what would be the focus of the debate are we going to see um probably economic policies um citizens concern issues be issue based conversation what exactly are you focusing on on this presidential Here, debate? the presidential debate hmm. is held and organized by the youth mainly okay yes and all we want is for the presidential candidate, like we know back then, when we look back to our uh, school days, when you hear of the debate, what comes to your mind is argument, mm. which it concerns two party or more, where they come to share their idea, different idea about a particular thing. Okay. So this presidential debate now, the topic here is Nigeria, Nigeria, where we invite the various presidential candidates for them to come tell us what they have for Nigeria and how they plan to make it happen all right how do you how do you intend to organize this debate what, what are the procedures or process you you've put in place to organize this debate yes um the procedures are we have sent invites to them it is documented actually we sent invites to them and um, they sent us we also sent a document to them to sign for us to know that yes they will be in attendance all right when you, we have got. when you talk about them now nigerians want to confirm are we talking about all the presidential all the candidates presidential from candidates. all the political parties yes now? not uh, selecting them um, uh, no. top three top four or some few persons no everybody. all of the presidential candidates mm. and uh, are you are you sure these people will definitely be part of this conversation of course because we have their signature on a document that yes they will be in attendance oh. uh, you know some questions i just keep popping in and uh, many nigerians will also want to ask it because uh, we've seen people come you know give us this is what we want to do this is our um, agenda for our nation from different political parties but how do you want to hold them accountable after uh, being elected or after this election is over thank you very much that is actually why we have this debate mm. it is a debate that is going to be publicized for everyone it's going to be on internet is going is going to be on tv channels where everybody will be there to watch what the presidential candidate will be saying mm. and it is going to be documented whatever they say in which when it is time for them maybe after six months and we are not seeing any positive result we can as well go back to our previous documents we have about the debate mm. and draw back their attention that you promised this you said this you said this during a presidential debate held by the Nigerian youth, you promise this, but we're not seeing anything. Mm. Indeed, a better way to go. Nigerian youth are working, of course, they are calling for credible and, of course, quality leadership at this point in time. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, you are doing this. How are you mobilizing yourselves? You say it's the youth, and there is a name for this, uh, this group, right? Yes, actually, there is a name. Um, we have a rally coming up on the 17th of this month at um, Unity Fountain. 8 a.m. on the dot so we are very much on ground we are very ready and um, we are actually reaching many youths all right yes. uh, 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 across the country and it's going to hold in Abuja are you, are, are you pushing it to other states or are you going to hold it it's holding in Nigeria but it's going to be live 
on various channels. Okay, it's holding in Abuja here, but it's really Yes, it's holding in Abuja, mm. Merit House to be precise. Okay. On the 10th of December 2022, mm. wow. 6 o'clock p.m. All right, that's, that's, that's indeed well, a very, very a, a way to go from Nigerian youth. And of course, to also call for a great leadership. Nigeria is at that decisive point in its history uh, to uh, see how we can get it right. And of course, we're counting down to 2023 polls. It's critical for us to also look at those measures and those things. Now, uh, for the debate, it's not going to be, um, you know, hearing from them alone. How, what are the plans that Nigerian youth are also uh, looking towards to see how they can sensitize and educate voters to also engage them during this process? Do you have that in mind? Yeah, um, we actually had um, a street interview before okay. now in which we engage the youths in the streets of Abuja. We heard from them what exactly is this question they would want to ask all of those presidential candidates that will give them that insight that yes, that the answer of those presidential candidates will give them that insight that yes, this is the right person for Nigeria. So I think with that, um, it's going to educate them more mm. from their answers you know everyone have what they want nigerian to look like mm. your decision my decision is what nigeria needs to be great mm. so how do we get this decision it's going to be from this debate mm. you understand something keep popping up in my mind okay. uh, you we are not campaigning for anybody for anybody to vote for any candidate we are not but, but a situation we are by a, 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 a presidential candidate decide not to attend this uh, this uh, debate, will you campaign against him? Of course not. He's actually sending a message. The presidential debate here now is just a means as if they are coming, the presidential candidates are coming to solve themselves. Just come tell Nigerians what you have for them, what you want to do for them. Then, doing that good, they pick their choice. You not coming, you are actually sending a message as well. Okay, let me ask this question. It might sound direct, but are you sponsored by any presidential candidates? No. Any political party? No. Because that is what Nigerians want to also oh, understand. understand. Probably it's going to be a platform for one political party to be to have a hedge above other political parties. But that you're not used by any political party. Are you? We are not sponsored by any political party. Hmm. It is mainly the youths. The Nigerian youths. The Nigerian youths. Oh, amazing, amazing indeed. And uh, well, for you said on the tenth of December, um, uh, at exactly six o'clock p.m. Six p.m. And uh, it's going to happen in the city of Abuja, the federal capital territory, Abuja, where all the presidential candidates. Now, when we look at all the presidential candidates, are we talking about just one day? How do you want to engage them in that one day? Do you have any 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 schedule for for? Uh, to engage all the presidential candidates yes of course we are going to have our protocols and uh, moderators as well okay. so i think they'll handle everything everything is in how many hours are we looking at to engage them and conversation for every pre pre presidential candidate um i think um 30 minutes is okay for a candidate mm. and the hours minimum of five hours mm. so we're looking at all the presidential uh, is it going to be just a day Yes. Uh, you, you can no, no, no. It's that. just gonna be a day. Just a day. Indeed. Right. Well, we hope we hope that we get all of them on board to see how they, they what the plans are for this great country, Nigeria. You did a great job, and of course, a way to go uh, by the Nigerian youth. Thank you so much for believing in our country, Nigeria. And we should also say thank you for not Jackpa. <laughs> you know, Nigerian youth are always moving up. But uh, before you go, just give us some last words. What are the things we, we need to look out for? The platform, like rightly said, you said on social media and everything. Yeah. Where, where, and how? Yeah, the debate is actually um, sponsored by the dyti which is the diamond youth transformation initiative nyd nigerian youth the side and is um, islamic um, association and many other um organizations like that and we are all making things happen. the venue again the venue again the venue is going to be married house Maitama, mm. 10 o'clock, um, 6 p.m. Mm. on the 10th of December. Are you expecting I join you to be at the venue too, to also be part of the audience? Do you want them? Yes. All right. Yes. All right. 
So there you go, you've heard it. So if you really want to um, ask questions and of course you want contributions, you want to ask your presidential candidates many questions, a platform has been made for you, for Nigerian youth to do justice to that. So on all social media platforms, it's also be shown. And of course, TSTV will also try as much as BRTV will be part of this conversation to see how we can project and tell Nigerians. So very big thank you so much for being part of uh, the conversation. A member of the uh, 2023 Presidential Debates Media Committee. And um, of course, it's happening on the 10th of December uh, this year. Thank you so much for being part of the conversation. Thank you so much. All right, that's the package, Stephen. I know you have a lot of questions. Maybe when on that platform, you'll be asking everybody. <laughs> one <laughs> <I> know, <always>. <laughs> All right, on that note, we say very big thank you for being part of uh, the Saturday edition of uh, The Breakfast Show right here on Bright Television, you of talk and entertainment. My name is Ayobami Adiyam. And I am Stephen Ofram. Thanks for watching. All right, goodbye. Good morning and thank you for joining us on today's Breakfast Show. with people that motivate you that of your zone uh, you need to attend professional and social events if to now make your place to be known to the public and you be recognized